YouTube, this is your girl Samantha Sweets and welcome back to my channel, my channel. Hey, sweetie squad, what's up my lovies? Happy Friday. Okay guys, so I know that I've not filmed and I promise, 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 I'm getting back on that train. I was just like so jet lag, I felt like, from after my birthday because it was a long, <laughs> long two days of my life and I'm gonna explain it all to you in this video or what I did because you guys are all like, what'd you do, what'd you do? Y'all see pictures but you didn't know exactly what we did, did, did. So I'm gonna talk about all that, but I just posted, well, I just uh, filmed everything that I got for my birthday. So definitely go check out that video. And thank you guys all for your birthday wishes and for your, just your celebrations and your cards and everything. I love the posts, I love the comments, I love the emojis, and thank you, thank you guys so much. It was amazing. So um, I real quick just wanna remind everybody that I do have a second channel, it's a duo channel. It's called The Girls Room, and it's with my bestie. And we just posted a drunk uh, board game night last night definitely check out that video and bring some extra panties because you're gonna pee pee your pants because it's so freaking funny we rewatched it already and I watched it with my friend this morning and oh my god it's hilarious so definitely watch it it's called the girls room and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below and please share it share it share it to everybody and I just want to before we jump in this video to remind everybody that my Jeffree Star giveaway is coming to an end on July 1st three lucky winners two on here and one on Instagram the rules are very simple all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel make sure you like on the video and make sure you comment down below of the video the Jeffree Star giveaway video what's your favorite jewelry product you cannot live without and make sure you share the video and please give it a big thumbs up and also on Instagram is your second entry to win where I'm giving away the uh where is it right here okay right here I'm giving away the little five piece set of Jeffree Star mini lip glosses and that's on Instagram and <coughs> oh gee <coughs> I inhaled <coughs> quick Woo. um what was <coughs> okay um what was I saying oh yeah that you have to all right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, my God. Um, I've been, by the way, loving this. This is New Power Aid, and it's Power Water Tropical Mango. Amazing. Zero calories. Okay. What was I saying? The Instagram. Um, make sure you comment down below. Emoji. Also, um, you can follow me on TikTok at SmithSweets100 and Instagram. Let's get this video before I start choking again. All right. And um, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm announcing the three lucky winners on July 1st. Okay, now my vacation, my birthday. Okay, so you know how you guys go on vacation and things are supposed to like go as planned and you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So Bestie and I, we've been best friends for 23 years in July. 23 years, guys. It's a long time. 23 years, okay? That's Bestie right there. That's that's my world. So, well, my son's my world, but still. So basically, um, we've always spent birthdays together. You know what I mean? And she turned 30 last year. So I did the Dirty 30 birthday and we went to uh, Definiac Springs and went to a winery and then ended up in Dustin. So for my 30, 30th, yeah, I wish, honey, my 33rd birthday, I was like, yes, let's go to Dustin. Let's go to Dustin. Well, first of all, you got this COVID out there still. Second of all, it's like summer. So everybody's down there for vacation. And there's one thing that gives me anxiety is traffic jams. And there was a lot of traffic jams. Okay. So we were supposed to, the plan was supposed to be, we leave on Thursday, th last Thursday was my birthday, June 18th. And we leave on Thursday and we go to Dustin and we we're supposed to leave at 10 a.m. Well, Jocelyn had conflicting schedule with her kids and my mom, she wasn't ready yet. And we we're all still packing. And it's just crazy. So it's like when you plan something, sometimes it does just does not go the way you want it to. So sometimes you're like, let's just wing it. And then when you wing it, sometimes nothing happens. So it's like you're, do, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So whatever. So pretty much um, we went, uh, we left, we left a little bit later. We left like 11 instead. And I immediately started getting my drinks and we was, I was in the passenger seat and I was, you know, chug a lug and chilling, whatever. And um, we were driving down there. We stopped, we got food. 
um I don't, I don't know if we got oh we got bowl of peanuts we got bowl of peanuts where's my lotion we got bowl of peanuts and we um we're just trying to hurry up and get there you know what i mean so we knew we couldn't check into the hotel until four o'clock and we stayed at the summer place at inn so if you ever go to destin that is such a nice hotel you really need to stay there it was so affordable it was really good i'm very impressed by it especially with it being so close to the beach oh yeah i was very impressed so it was like in the heart of everything and the beach was literally across the street so we so um we wanted to go definitely to get lunch and drinks and go to the beach that was the ultimate plan and we ended up finally reaching our destination finally okay and i'm trying to think we okay so we we went through we drove through Pan panama to get there and then we ah uh, let's see we got to okay so first thing we went to is we went to the place that i ended up getting that key out that keychain from that I showed you in the oh I have like a cut on my finger the keychain that I showed you in my on um, what I got for my birthday and then these bangles so what I needed was a beach towel I had no beach towels and my mom didn't have beach towels so I was like we're getting beach towels so I had to go in there and get beach towels and it was literally on the beach but our place was to our place to eat was called Pompano Joe's and that's where we wanted to go because I love fish dip if there's like anything i can't i love tacos i do but if there's any kind of like an appetizer if anyone ever asks what's my favorite appetizer it is smoked fish dip i live for that stuff that stuff is amazing i'm from palm beach i'm a palm beach baby and i love me some smoked fish dip and it's very hard to find it definitely here in this little rinky dink town there's no fish dip um but on the beach it's you it, it, times have changed so much that they are now putting in extra stuff so I'll get into that in a minute. Main thing I wanted was fish dip. And then also they had $5 drinks for three o'clock to five, I think three to five or something for happy hour. And it was literally on the beach, like on the beach. I think I um, took pictures. Yeah, I did. I took pictures. Okay. So we, so we ended up getting there, but there was no parking space, no parking space. We're like, what the freak? Like nothing. So I was upset. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to drink. I'm mad. I want to just I'm wanting to jump out of this car. So I called Pompano Joe's and comment down below if you know Pomp Joe's is. Um, I called Pompano Joe's and they said that they had a side sand lot parking lot around the corner of it there. I was like, oh yes, great. So we went in there, we parked, awesome, bam, parked, walked up. Okay. So it was time for us, like we didn't even wait to get seated. We got seated like that, it was awesome. And we wanted by the window, of course. So we got by the window. And it just was so nice. It was also a, like a 76 year old woman. She was celebrating her birthday there. And it was just so cute. We took a picture. My mom put it on Instagram. My face looked fat as heck, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, uh, so, okay. So it's time to order. So I want a fish dip. Okay. But it was like, they had this big thing for 20 bucks where you could get mozzarella sticks, fish dip, chicken, egg roll, Southwest egg rolls or something and boiled shrimp. Well, my bestie is not really a seafood lover. I love seafood. My mom loves seafood. So we got our drinks and they were called the PJ's Punch. It was called PJ's Punch and it was bomb. It was so bomb. It was too strong for bestie, but it was so good for me and my mom. And I was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Love my, love my PJ's Punch. So when it was time for me to eat my fish dip, when it finally came, like food came out very quick. They were very efficient. They were so nice there. Oh my God, guys. My fish dip does never consist of freaking relish, tomatoes, onions, and Dijon mustard. That's not what my fish dip consists of, okay? This shit was sweet and nasty, okay? Then he had the egg roll. I actually kind of like the egg roll. Mom didn't like the egg roll. Jocelyn didn't like the egg roll, okay? Then it was the boiled shrimp. No sir, no ma'am. That shit was nasty. It was like straight paprika Cajun nasty. And then the last thing was the mozzarella sticks. And you can't really mess up mozzarella sticks because they were frozen. So we were like, let's just take it back. Like, take it back. We don't want this. The birthday girl's not happy. Let us finish our drinks. And we're going somewhere else. So there was another place that I wanted to go to. And um, I, I just, there were so many places, you know what I mean? Because you really want to go. But you're always looking to see if the menus of the affordable or the drinks or specials or anything. So... I cannot for the life of me right now think. I know it's a, a girl's name. Was it Lulu's? 
Lulu's. It was Lulu's. I'm pretty sure it was called Lulu's. And it's on the harbor. It's like on the bay. It's on the bay. So, oh my God, like the view was gorgeous. Like we sat outside. It was a drive though. It was a drive to get there. They said it was going to be a little drive. It was a drive, but that's because traffic was so hectic. But we knew we couldn't check into the hotel till four o'clock anyways. So I was like, okay, let's head out to Lulu's. That's what it's called, Lulu's. Head out to Lulu's and let's go. So we get there. And of course they had the COVID and all that stuff and everything. So like, yeah, six feet away, but we didn't care. We wanted to go sit outside. So we're outside. We took pictures. I uploaded pictures on Instagram and Facebook of this stuff. Beautiful view. I mean, take your kids there. They can play in the sand. There's a bounce house if you get to pay for it though. And there's like a little jumpy thingy. And then there's like little like horseshoes and stuff. It's so cute. Like really cute family fun. You know what I mean? And they had like a band or something, but, um, we sat outside, like I said. So my drink was free. I got this like banana tort thing. It was so yummy. And, um, it was time for me to order fish dip again. Yay! You would think so. No. Once again. Once again, there's just no good fish dip. It's just not in the cards for me. It's just not happening on this trip. Okay, and which is so weird because when we went for Jocelyn's birthday, I got fish dip. Now I paid an arm and a leg for this fish dip, but I, and it was literally this much, but I got it literally on the harbor. That's where I ate it. I ate it on the harbor. So first was the ocean, not for, not, not the type there. Went to the bay, still not good. So at this point, I gave up on fish dip. Like I was just like, okay, it's just not meant to happen on this trip for fish dip, whatever. So um, Justin also got a salad, which she had a bug in her salad. And I don't think she appreciated that very much. Um, so they went ahead and comped that. And um, uh, mom had this crab meat skillet uh, dip. And that was actually pretty good. It was decent, whatever. But nobody really ate. Like none of us really ate, ate. We literally just snacked, snacked. And we didn't eat the first place. We literally took a bite of everything and that was it. That was a little small bite and put it back and sent it on its way. Second one, I didn't like my fish dip. Okay, that was my feel. That was my food. Okay, mom had her crab thing. Jocelyn's salad had a bug in it. So, I mean, we're, we were up shit's, cr shit's Creek, okay? So it's like now we're just to the point where we're ready to just go to the hotel. So our plan was to go to McGuire's for dinner. And I'm sure you know where McGuire's is because it's one of the most poppin' happen places in Destin, Florida, McGuire's. Amazing Irish pub, okay? We went there for Jocelyn's birthday and I definitely wanted to go back for mine. So I, okay, so the plan was to get to the hotel. It literally took us almost an hour and a half, I wanna say, to get to the hotel. So by that point, we're still hungry. I am, I need water, okay, to rehydrate. I am cranky, okay. Jocelyn's tired of driving. I'm frustrated. Mom's frustrated. We're getting car sick and the traffic is just not moving. And like I said, I get anxiety ridden when it comes to traffic jams. So uh, we were trying to figure out what the heck was going on and there was the most horrendous accident. I don't exactly know. I never could find it in the news. It might've been because it was too soon, but it was like literally a little red Toyota car or Honda or something. And it was, I don't even know how it got up here. It was up on like the pole. Like it, somehow it went over the parking lot, over the hill into the light pole. Like what the hell? Like, what did you do? But I prayed to God, everybody was okay. Cause that was so bad. The accident was so bad. So at this point now, we can't find the hotel. The hotel, it's the GPS, which I hate GPSs, are telling us to go here, there, there, here, up, down, up, everywhere, okay, besides the moon. And so I just call the hotel and I'm like, can I just have your direct address, your direct address? And sure enough, we found it. It's just the traffic was so backed up that it was throwing us off by minutes and minutes and minutes. And we were literally right there the whole time. So we finally got to the hotel checked in okay still haven't got my security deposit back uh yeah summer bay summer in summer place in uh honey needs her deposit back so hurry up with that please um and we i the pre the reason i picked this place is because there was two pools indoor and outdoor and a jacuzzi and i knew i wanted to be in a jacuzzi i haven't been in a jacuzzi in a long time and i wanted to go into a jacuzzi so that's another place why reason why I got it. So we got up to the room and mom was ready to crash. I mean, my mom's 52 years old. So, and she has back problems. She had back surgery last year. It was so horrendous. So she was ready to crash. 
So Jocelyn and I were like, well, what should we do? Should we go down to the pool? Should we, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, no, I don't want to mess up my hair. You know, I know I'm hungry. I know I want to eat. I know I want to get dressed, but my headache was slowly coming. Like this, the headache, you could feel the headache was coming from the anxiety, from the tension, from the ride, from this not working out, this not working out. It was like my body was just ready to just give up. So I literally was just like looking online, looking on Facebook, you know, watching YouTube, trying to get my mind off my headache, but it was probably the worst thing I could do because when you get a headache, you definitely want to go into a dark room. You want to turn off the lights and me staring at a bright ass phone probably was not helping me. So it now became like 7 30, 8 o'clock. Okay. And we checked in at five. So we were resting for like, you know, an hour and a half to or whatever. And it was time to get dressed. So I took pictures and stuff you guys saw. I wear that little cute black dress and all my little jewelry I showed you guys in the other video. And I was ready. I was really ready. I did my video. I did my makeup. I was ready, honey. I was ready to just paint the town birthday wishes on me. Okay? So ready. The headache turned into a migraine. It literally turned into a migraine. So we were literally like 13, I said, how many times I said literally in this video? Um, we were 13, 14 minutes from Meguiar's from the hotel, so it's not bad. And we got to Meguiar's and of course there was a wait. So we had to wait, it wasn't that long though. Um, they said it was 45 minutes, but I think we only waited like 20 minutes. And we were able to sit inside at the bar and wait for our table, so I thought that was really cool. And if you ever go to Meguiar's, you'll see a a million dollars all over in dollar bills like it is magical it's so cool you get to sign your dollar bill whatever you want and put it up like staple it up and then when it gets like filled up on the wall they put it on the ceiling it's so cool in there so um it was thursday night and the guy tells us that oh uh ladies it's about to be ladies night and from 10 to two o'clock in the morning you can drink whatever you well it wasn't whatever you want but most of the drinks for free i'm like free free I'm like and I have a fucking migraine that's awesome so just it was I was just okay the cramping started because my period I, I'm on my period now so my period was coming so I had cramps I was hungry I wasn't hungry I was hangry okay migraine nothing I just could not snap out of it I I, I wanted to just scream like the, first of all, the lighting in Meguiar's is like red lights, okay? I don't really get that, but that's how they are. They're red lights. So imagine that with a migraine. And then all the people on top of the band upstairs, the noise, the noise. So I bought myself a drink, which is the best drink you can get there for 10 bucks called the Irish Wake. And you can only get two because they're so strong. I literally took one sip and that was it. I was like, I'm good. I'm done drinking for the night. Like I'm done. And Jocelyn knew it. My mom knew it. They were like, God, Samantha's not going to snap out of this. And I'm like, it's probably not going to happen. Like it's just not. So we ordered these Reuben egg rolls, which is the main reason we went there because they're so mind blowing. But of course, they overdid the egg rolls, so those weren't done correctly. So I was just like over my birthday. I was so done with Destin. I was just like, Ugh. so Jocelyn was like, do you want to go back to the hotel? We'll take this food to go, Sam, and we'll go back to the hotel. We can eat there and then we'll put our bathing suits on and go to the jacuzzi and you can relax. I was like, that sounds good. That does sound good. I mean, I would love to stay with the free alcohol. Don't get me wrong, okay? And and, and and party and chill and have them sing happy birthday to me. I would love that. I would have loved that. That's what I wanted. You know what I mean? And it just wasn't in the cards for me. It just wasn't. So we were leaving. Um, we packed up all the stuff and we were ready to go back to the room. And we're leaving and there's a damn big ass stretcher outside of the door. And I'm like, okay, a second freaking um crucial moment okay first you had the car accident now you have a stretcher outside of the freaking um mcguire's i'm like jesus like destin are you safe so i went back to the hotel and uh put my bathing suit on and it was crazy it was so crazy it was like as immediately as I got back into the room and I did take bites of my burger, I got a mushroom Swiss burger. Oh my God, it was bomb. So good. Jocelyn's was dry and mom got prime rib and I don't like rib. Well, I don't really like steak, steak like that. But anyways, I immediately started feeling better. I took bites of my burger and I think it was just, I'm telling you the lights, the lights were killing me. The noise was killing me. 
it was killing me. Mom had already given me two Excedrin migraine and I took two more when I got back to the room and thank God everything just went. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna take my drink cause I took my drink home. <laughs> I took my drink and I was like, oh, let's go. Like, let's go down to the jacuzzi. So I put my new Fashion Nova bathing suit on and I was like, let's go honey. So we went down to the jacuzzi. Mom went to sleep with me and Jocelyn. And that's when we went live for y'all. So we were like, just uh, in the doing TikToks and thing. I've got her into TikTok now. Um, so definitely try to follow her on there. It's Jocelyn Bugita Sukanek. I know that seems kind of confusing to spell, but I put it in the description box of our video that we did last night. So definitely check out that video. Like I said, it will be in this description box. And um, it, we just did TikToks and we were just went live and we were just relaxing and stuff. And then it was time to go in. It was now like midnight. It was, it was midnight and then it became one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, okay time to go night night so went to sleep me and jocelyn shared a bed and my mom had her own bed and when it was time to wake up mom was like okay sleepy her sleepy heads sleepy girls let's go get breakfast so we decided to go to the panker pancakery and oh my gosh guys it is so nice because it has mimosas and i haven't had a mimosa for breakfast in like years so I really enjoyed that. And okay, so back to the food not working out because food just did not work out on this trip. So we had to wait. We, that's when I went into the shop and I got the t-shirt and Dorian shirts and stuff like that. That's when I got that. And Jocelyn, she was getting stressed out because her mom needed her to come home that day, but she was just stressed out because she was, you know, going through her own, you know, and I just wanted to be there for her. But at the same time, I was not ready to leave Destin just yet because I was like, damn, like my birthday got plugged up, you know, my migraine. So it's like, let's just spend a little bit more time in Destin, you know? And so I decided to get water park tickets to uh, Kahuna Bay. And I'm gonna explain to you why that didn't work in a minute. <laughs> but we ended up going um, to, like I said, Pancakery and uh, Justin got waffles. They were really good, they were banana waffles. I got a um, uh, Eggs Benedict. And that's like old school to me, honestly. It's something like my mom made for me when I was a kid. And I was like, wow, I used to love hollandaise sauce. Like I would drink the hollandaise sauce. And I didn't like it anymore. Like, I don't like hollandaise sauce. It was just nasty. I didn't like it. I don't know if that was just their hollandaise or if it was just my taste buds. But I wasn't feeling the hollandaise. Mom's food, she didn't like it. She got crepes and she said they were too small, too skinny. So we ended up just paying for my, um, the mimosas and Jocelyn's waffles. And that was it. We were done. We were out of there. And so... Um, which Pancakery followed me on Facebook. So thanks Pancakery. Um, you, I had so much fun. I loved your mimosas. So then, like I said, I surprised everybody and said, uh, guess what guys? I got us water park tickets. So then we had to find Jocelyn a bathing suit. Okay. Well, um, 40 hours later and 10 bathing suits later, she wore her own. <laughs> you know us girls. So, um, we put our bathing suits on, went to the water park and they didn't tell me at the door. And they didn't tell me online. We found out that three of their main attractions were closed because they didn't have staff. I was pissed because water parks aren't cheap, okay? I was pissed and I was like, son of a beep. Like, you gotta be kidding me because the main thing I wanted to go on was called the Rhino River and the Rhino River was closed. I was so pissed. I was so mad. I was upset. So we were there for only like an hour and a half. And I was like, let's go. Like, I'm going to get my money back and we're getting the hell out of here because I'm upset. Like, I wanted to have fun. I wanted us to do the water park and it just was not fun. But then as I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if I'm really the type for a water park anymore. I mean, that might've been like my younger days, my kid days, my teenage days. Because when I went to Shipwreck Island in Panama City, I wasn't really feeling that water park either. So it's like, maybe I've just outgrown water parks. I don't really know. However, I am gonna go to Volcano Bay in Orlando. We are definitely gonna go there. Jocelyn, are you listening to me? We're going there. So I definitely wanna go to that water park. So I can't say I outgrew all water parks, 
but I just was not impressed with Kahuna Bay, be honest. Maybe if those other three attractions were open, maybe, I don't know, but I love the kitty area. Does that make sense? I really did like the kitty area. So they gave me not even half of my money back. So I was a little PO'd on that, but at least I got something. Some people wouldn't even give you nothing. So I am very grateful for that. So Kahuna, thank you very much. As we were leaving Kahuna Bay, ambulance comes up and blocks us, paramedics and stretchers and all this stuff. I'm like, what is wrong with you, Destin? Nala, I'm filming. It's like, what is wrong with you, Destin? Like, accident? McGuire's accident? A possible drowning? I don't know. Like, what the freak, Destin? So, at this point, we're hungry again and we want to go to the beach that's the one thing we didn't do is we didn't go to the beach we planned on going to the beach but we never went to the beach so i was like okay we're gonna go get something to eat and we're going back to Pomp pompano joe's i'm gonna get me a drink and we're gonna go to the beach we're going in the water this time this is it we're doing this, this is how we're ending our trip so that was the plan i didn't care where we ate i was so ready to get the hell out of there um just eat and go to the beach we went to hooters guys Hooters is so overrated. I was not impressed with Hooters. The wings were just not to my liking. Like I said, the food on this trip just did not work for me, okay? And the, just, it was no, mm -mm, no. I actually had like a little meltdown. I cried. I said, nothing's going right. Let's just go home. I'm just over this trip. I just wanna go home. Please leave me alone. Like I just turned into a rat. I just was so upset. So um, I went outside and I called my friend to try to calm down. And he was just telling me, you know, like, Sam, you know, this is your birthday. You know, you just have to just decide, you know, how you want to end it. It's all up to you, baby girl, you know, da, da, da. And I was like, I know, I know. So I took a deep breath and my mom came out there and she was like, baby, is this what you want? Do you really want to go home? Like, if you want to go home, we'll go home. But I think you really want to see the beach. I'm like, I do want to see the damn beach. Like, I've gone to Destin twice now and I've not seen the beach. Like, oh my God, I've seen the beach. So, bam, snapped out of that mode. Because I'm a Gemini. I'm bipolar. I go back and forth. You know what I mean? I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling you that that's what I am. So, it was time for me to go to the beach. So, we ended up still having our bathing suits on from the water park. So, we were already ready. And we went to the beach and we were going to go back to Pompano Joe's to get drinks again. So we parked in our same parking space and mom's like, isn't this crazy? The way we started the trip yesterday is the way we're ending the trip with our PJ's punch back on the beach. So this time it was water time. And oh my God, when Jocelyn and I were looking while mom was getting the drinks, Jocelyn and I were looking far out in the ocean and you could tell people were standing like in the middle of the ocean. So obviously it was a sandbar. I was like, girl. We would never do that. Like we would never go that far out. Like that's insanity because it was so far. Where do you think we were five minutes later? Out on the damn sandbar and loving every minute of it. I could have stayed out there forever. I really could have, but Justin didn't want to drive back in the dark. I completely understand that. And we had to dry off and we had to get back. So I was like, okay. I got myself in the beach. I got to swim. I got to play in the sand. I enjoyed every minute of Destin Beach. Destin Beach, you will see me again. Now your stores and your restaurants, probably not. But the beach, I love the beach. But I am such a beach baby. I love water, period. Love the water. But the beach obviously is my favorite spot. So it was time to go. So sad. Took more pictures. Dried off. Time for our ride back home. I want a Chick-fil-A. The best entire food that I put in my mouth on the entire trip was my Chick-fil-A sandwich with extra pickles, please. And Polynesian sauce. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> that was my favorite food on the trip. That was my favorite thing on the trip with my Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And so that was just too funny. We all laughed about that. It was like, yeah, that was probably the best thing. Like. All the rest of the food just was not working out, just not to our liking, but I really did enjoy that Chick-fil-A sandwich. So, um, got back home, Sweetie Prince was waiting for us. And it was just, I was exhausted, got in the uh, shower, excuse me, showered, and got my PJs and laid down. The next day was Saturday and I felt so jet lagged. Like, 
I did not want to move. I did not get up to do anything until like three o'clock in the afternoon, almost five. Like I just did not want to move. I was so exhausted. My brain was mentally, everything, plus my period was coming. So I was just so tired. But other than that, I had a very nice vacation. I had a nice little trip. It was very nice. Um, I Would I do it again? Not exactly sure. I kind of like to explore, so I'd probably go somewhere else. But Destin Beach was a lot of fun. It was beautiful. And um, we have memories. <laughs> you can't forget those memories. So um, I don't think I had birthday cake. What? I didn't have a birthday cake? Oh, my God. No, that's a no, no. I didn't blow a candle. Oh my God. Well, I am 33 years old, so whatever. <laughs> but I can't believe uh, I didn't have a birthday cake this year. I always have a birthday cake. Bestie always buys me a birthday cake, but that's okay. That's the whole point of growing up. So other than that, like I said, I had a wonderful birthday and I'm very grateful for my friends and my family and everything. Holy crap, this is a 30 minute video. Okay guys, so we're wrapping up here because I have to jump on and do one more video and I will see you on the next one. Please do not forget that giveaway. And as always, stay beautiful, stay blessed. I'm your girl, Samantha Sweets. Love y'all. Bye.